Valentine's Day. It's Amanda here with your February 2017 Rune Scope. Uh, this month I'm going to be using, in conjunction with the runes, of course, the Pagan Tarot. And uh, this has artwork by Luca Ramondi and Cristiano Spadoni, for those of you that are interested in that. Uh, also, after this reading, be sure to join me over on my Vimeo channel for part two of this reading. I'll be pulling for your spiritual guidance reading for the month of February, one card from the Vintage Wisdom Oracle by Victoria Mosley. This is a beautiful deck that my sister uh, got me as a gift. So we're breaking it in this month. Uh, of course, as promised over on Vimeo, your 2017 Love Rune Scope is now available as well. So, uh, and your career and finance uh, reading for 2017, Rune Scope for 2017 is over there as well. So you may have to load more to get to the career and finance. It's under, it's kind of under everything else, but it is there. So uh, the link is below this video to uh, my channel over there. So just click or tap show more and uh, that will take you uh, over there and you can uh, purchase those videos if you would like. Uh, also your free 2017 yearly room scope is up here on YouTube. I have, if you just click or tap the little I info button here in this video, um, you can watch that after this, after this video. So definitely want to check that out. That covers all areas. The videos on Vimeo are just more uh, centered on those specific topics for those of you that are interested in that. So without further ado, let's take a look and see what February holds for you. Happy birthday, Aquarius. Let's take a look at your February runes and see what's coming up in your birthday month. And for those of you that had a birthday in January, happy belated birthday. Right. Now, as always, Aquarius, these are general readings, so not all of these messages will apply to you specifically. Some will be for other Aquarians that are watching. Uh, if you would like a reading that is all about you, where you don't have to kind of fit the puzzle pieces together, schedule an appointment with me. I do those on Skype. They are $65 for 30 minutes. Just drop me a line at runescopes 4 you at gmail.com. That's the number four and the letter U. You'll, of course, find that information below the video with everything else. But let's take a look at what February in general holds. Um, you can also check out the video for your rising sign to get some more information and more messages. Don't forget to do that. So let's start with our challenge or focus for February. So you've got six of swords for the challenge. So the challenge is to leave behind emotionally tumultuous waters. Um, so leaving a situation or a, um, sometimes this is just something because your air signs are so, you're so much in your mind, this can be just something that you think about and it upsets you. So it's moving away from that, doing whatever you can to shut that off, you know? Stop thinking about it. Um, it's kind of like when someone has like a cut or something or, or you know, it hurts somewhere and it's like, you know, this hurts when I press on it and then someone says, well, don't press on it. It's that kind of energy. Well, don't think about it if it hurts, you know? Um, and this could have something to do with a secret coming out, something being revealed um, with Pedro here, because this talks about, and this talks about like dark secrets coming out when it's in the reverse. So, um, and this energy again, cause it's a general reading can always work both ways. So if you have a secret that you would really rather not other people know about that could cause some upsets or cause you to have to kind of disappear. Um, I would be extra vigilant about guarding that in February. But I feel like for most of you, this is someone else, someone else's drama, someone else's information coming out. And um, this room can talk about addictions as well. So it could be an addiction, substance abuse problem someone's been trying to hide. Um, 
and you distancing yourself from that uh, because we have Esau here too which means a, a freeze needs to be put on this situation so it can no longer affect you this can also talk about a separation or a divorce maybe due to a secret coming out or due to something that's been hidden coming to light now don't freak out it doesn't mean it's you Aquarius like I said I'll, re I'll repeat myself I feel like this is something to do with someone else and um, I've got a little kitty cat crying, so I'm gonna go see real quickly what's going on, and I'll be right back. And we're back, sorry about that Aquarius. Whenever they cry, I, I always go check because sometimes they get stuck uh, or shut in rooms and things like that. Uh, so, but this could be a situation also that you thought you'd left behind, but the news is revealed or there is some sort of information that comes your way that kind of has you, um, concerned but I mean there it seems like maybe there's not much you can do with Isa because the situation is kind of frozen your influence can't be you've either done all you can do or there's nothing that you can really do about it um, so you're just gonna have to kind of leave it behind put it out of your mind and that is the challenge so you you know that could be an energy that weaves in and out of the month um, and this kind of makes sense with you have strength reversed coming into the month of February so um, it, this card can indicate that maybe you are feeling a bit powerless in a certain situation or like you, you're unable to change it, but you're unable to maybe stop thinking about it or move on from it. And um, this could be in any area of life, Aquarius, again, because there are so many of you watching. But um, for some of you, I feel it, it may have something to do with uh, looking for work, getting a raise, getting a promotion, finding a new job, um, increasing your money in some way. Um, um, putting a freeze on funds that are going out. So there could be some big payments that you've had to make or maybe there's a big expense that you're considering but you feel, or something that you wanna do that's gonna be expensive but you feel like you can't really do it right now. Um, now this can also just mean that you're feeling under the weather physically, maybe coming into February, you know, not feeling your best, low energy or with a cold. Um, I think it will be a quick recovery though, for those of you that that's what it is. Um, maybe you're concerned because you're ill and you're gonna have to take off work or um, maybe there is a health issue and it's like, I've gotta get this procedure done, but I've gotta take off work and I, you know, I'm, uh, you know, I really need to not take off work because I need the money, that sort of thing. But I feel like this is going to be rectified within the first week for many of you of February because you've got Fehu. So, I mean, that indicates those of you looking for work, looking for a new job or looking to increase your, your money, uh, Fehu means an offer will be on the table for a new job. Um, so some of you may have been, you know, waiting and waiting and maybe you didn't find anything in January, those of you that are job hunting, but then in February, um, there just seem to be more opportunities that have been worth waiting for. Um, don't give up. You know, if you're watching on the January side and you're like, oh, I've been looking for work all, all of January or I've been trying to get a promotion and I was passed over and I've been waiting for something else to come along. It looks like for many of you financially, February could be the month here. Um, because you, you've got a lot of new beginnings coming up around this new financial beginnings in particular, and, uh, the Jade stone popped out here next to that. So, uh, I keep stones in the rune bag to keep them charged various, uh, gemstones and, uh, to have the Jade there. Luck is coming a new beginning luck on your side and offer. Um, those of you concerned about taking time off for health reasons, it could be that you qualify for some sort of aid for that or that you will get paid. Um, or you may be able to work out a situation where you can work from home. I, you know, talk to your employer about what your options are, your HR department and see, like, you know, make sure you know how that all will work for you. Um, because I feel like a lot of your fears in that sort of a situation will be allayed, but, um, some of you may feel like your strengths are being used against you when it comes to finding new work or, um, 
maybe you're being told you have too much experience or you're you're overqualified for positions you're applying for. What that essentially means is someone doesn't want to pay you what they would have to pay you. They'd rather hire someone right out of college with no experience because they can get them out at a lower uh, a lower pay rate. Uh, but don't give up. There's going to be a, a, a position opening for you in February for many of you Aquarians that are looking to increase your money. Um, and for many of you, this may be a work at home opportunity. You may be able to do this from home. Uh, maybe that's how you can kind of counterbalance it because it's like, okay, this is like a remote position. You can work from home, but you won't have any insurance. Uh, you know, you won't have any, uh, you know, the stipends that come with uh, maybe a full-time permanent associate position, but you will get the pay that you need. So I feel like you go, you're going to go for the cash over the perks in uh, in February, and that's going to kind of be the, the balance. Um, now, some of you, this situation, because we've got such a financially heavy kind of energy coming in, this situation you need to leave behind could be a job. Um, it could be that you're, you um, have been wanting to leave, but you feel stuck or you just feel like the opportunities haven't been there. February could be, you could really see that turn around. You could just see more options available in your career field, uh, Aquarius. Now for uh, your advice for the month of what's, as far as like what's going to be helping you in the month of February, we've got the novice of pentacles in reverse. So again, we're talking about money. Um, so the novice in this deck is, is equivalent to the knights in other decks. So um, I, the help coming in for you may be coming in as a person who is lazy. And I know that sounds a little bit odd, but it could be that they're getting fired and that's the position you're going to be moving up into. Um, now the Knight of Pentacles in reverse can, it's often associated with, uh, or novice in this deck as it is, um, often associated with earth sign energy, Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus. Um, but yeah, I feel like many of you are going to, you're going to be interviewing with someone who, um, Maybe they're telling you, like, you know, we, we've been, you know, having a lot of trouble finding a person to fit this position. Um, nobody can be, kind of be up to the challenge here. Um, for some of you, it, they have been hiring younger people because the Knights are generally associated with younger uh, people, younger energy. So 35 and younger. Maybe they've tried that and it's like, no, they're just not up to the task. Maybe they don't have the experience or they don't have the work ethic or they don't have... Um, the, the, the right attitude for the job. So now they're going for someone, uh, you know, with a little more experience. So that would be for you Aquarians who are mid-career at least and, and onward. Those of you that are our younger Aquarians, again, it's, it's kind of like, yeah, we had someone, but they didn't work out. Um, this could also be a promotion that you were passed over for, for some of you. And the person that they promoted doesn't work out and then they kind of come back to the other people that they talk to. Because I feel like for many of you, you've already interviewed for this. Um, so keep the lines of communication open. Even if someone tells you that a position was filled or they told you a position was filled earlier this year or even last year because they could be coming back around Aquarius. Um, and I don't feel like you need to do anything about that. Um, I, I think this job offer is coming in uh, for many of you from a past connection, from a, a job you previously applied for or a promotion that you, a position you previously applied for. Now this can also be talking about academic schools. Maybe you, some of you applied for a university and didn't get in, but then word's gonna come back around, well, hey, this, this fall, we have an opening, or even this spring, you know, I know the semester's started for, mo for most people, but um, you, you may get news that this fall, uh, you know, you, you've uh, been moved up from the wait list or something. So, yeah, whoever this uh, earth sign energy or whoever is manifesting as this Knight of Pentacles, they're actually, um, 
their negative traits are going to be helping you in some way. <laughs> or, uh, you know, yeah, almost like you're moving into that position due to their deficiency. Now, what must be accepted about the month of February? We do have the hanged man. And this can be a period of kind of similar to the Six of Swords in that there may be, you know, a period of waiting, a period of suspension. Um, there's something that you can't change. It's outside your control. So you have to just kind of table it or you have to just kind of take a time out. Um, you know, but there is help in, I, I feel like there are other people around you helping you see something from a different perspective or helping you move through this energy, difficult as it may be sometimes with the hanged man there. Um, you know, and it may be something that has saddened you. And for many of you, again, I don't feel like this is something that happens in February. It's leftover energy, maybe even from last year or, or um, you know, last month, something that's already happened that you're dealing with. And, uh, but you're not going through it alone with, with menace here. It's like you have support, you have other people that are holding you up or boosting you up when you need it. Um, but, the, but the hanged man also is saying, hey, you know, you've done everything that you can do. Um, it's, a, it's a period of suspension, literally, just waiting for other people, outside forces to, to, uh, to come in here. Um, other pieces, other, other energies have to, have to change this. It's not within your control. And again, we could still be talking about job for a lot of you. It's like, you know, all these things have to be situated and, uh, you know, the job actually has to be posted and before it can be posted, someone has to decide that they need to fill this position or that this person is not working out and then they've got to get rid of that person or, um, but I feel like that's happening in February. Um, your network could be very significant, Aquarius, for those of you looking for, for, for work or looking for jobs. Um, because man, as always indicates, relying on those closest to us, getting advice. Um, so definitely talk to, you know, if you don't have like a LinkedIn or whatever, you may want to create one, update that, make sure you're connected with all the people that you've worked with before, because you never know where these opportunities may pop up. But it seems like it's through someone you know uh, former co-workers, current co-workers, um, family, friends, that sort of connection. And maybe this opportunity that you missed out on, or for some reason they went with someone else is coming back around and you hear about it. Like, Hey, remember that job that you applied for before I, I heard that they're hiring again. Um, there's some connection to the past here for many of you with uh, a job, uh, now at the end of February, we do have the Six of Cups. So the Six of Cups, or chalices as they are in this deck, um, it has connections to the past, to childhood, going back to the past to try to figure out the present, to try to figure out the future. And many of you may be, this may be, um, for those of you that this is working again in a financial sense, you're relying on past experience. You're, it's your past experience that's going to help you move on from a job. Um, highlighting the appropriate past experience uh, when you apply for a new gig, it, because it is it is that past experience or your education or you know that. It, some of you may be going back to something you used to do. So it could be like, I, I used to do this, then I, then I went and did this kind of work for a little while, but now I want to go back to this. So it, it, for many of you, it could be going back to a past job, again, a past employer, something you applied for before, work that you've done before, but maybe it's been a couple jobs, or you've been somewhere a while doing something else, and now you're like, you know what, I like that better. I'm gonna. I'm going to look for that. So you'll be highlighting your past experience. Um, and that is going to enable you to move on, uh, you know, and this is going to be good, particularly if you haven't really loved the work you've been doing, uh, more recently Aquarius. So, um, now for some of you, this could be, um, 
just thinking about past relationships because when we're talking about uh, chalices or cups, we're talking about emotions. It could be just reflecting on a relationship that ended. Um, someone that is no longer in your life uh, for whatever reason. Um, for some of you, it could be some hearing from someone that you haven't spoken to in a long time, someone you're divorced from or separated from or have been. Doesn't have to be a romantic partnership that you were in. Could be an, uh, you know, a family member, a uh, friend, anybody that you had, maybe you just went your separate ways um, or, or grew apart. And it's not always some big thing. We just, uh, you know, we go along our path and their path goes over here and we kind of, you know, lose touch or whatever. So it could be that you are wanting to reconnect with someone from the past. Someone from the past is wanting to reconnect with you, Aquarius, or you're just thinking about it when it comes to emotions. And I think those of you that are thinking about it, it's kind of like you're gonna be thinking about it in a way that, well, it had to happen the way it happened. Um, we were, you know, had done sort of everything that we could do. It had run its course, but I, I still miss this person or, or uh, you know, I still, because the six of uh, chalices, six of cups, when we, it has, it has a, that nostalgia about it where we only remember the good times. I think if you can really make a conscious effort to remember the bad times, um, you know, you can kind of take off the, the rose colored glasses with this card because uh, that's what it talks about. It's like, oh yes, when it was good, it was so good. But remember when it was bad, it was really bad or you maybe wouldn't have separated or uh, maybe you've forgotten the reason. Um, now, if it was just a growing apart, you know, it may be one of those things where you're like, I'm gonna look this person up, I'm gonna, Look, the, look up this old friend or look up that old high school girlfriend or boyfriend and, you know, see if I can find him on Facebook or something. So um, that may be what, what you're thinking about in, uh, in February when it comes to emotions. But for many of you, it seems like a very financially motivated month um, and, and positive progress as far as getting a raise, getting a promotion, moving, moving on to a new gig that's still kind of a blast from the past in a way that I'm now going to shuffle and pull your spiritual guidance card for the month of February from the Vintage Wisdom Oracle deck uh, by Victoria Mosley. So uh, meet me over on Vimeo. The link again is below for part two. We'll see what spiritual guidance and wisdom we can get for you uh, for February Aquarius. Uh, thanks again for watching and I'll see you back here next month.